guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching and welcome back to Scent Sunday. Today, I'm so excited because we got a little sneak peek of the new perfumes from Ariana Grande coming. I've seen these in the periphery. One is called Mod Vanilla, one's called Mod Blush. I don't know when they're going to be available, but when I saw that there was a gift set from Ariana Grande, <laughs> right next to me. It's freaking massive, okay? <laughs> when I saw that this was a set of all the mini perfumes from Ariana Grande, so there are a bunch of little mini bottles, and it not only had a sneak peek of those new perfumes in here, I like had to get my hands on it because of that, but also it had the only other two fragrances they don't have from Ariana Grande, which are Sweet Like Candy 2.0 and Frankie. I had to get it. I had to get it. I did a video ranking all of the Ariana Grande except for these two at the time because they were so hard to get a hold of. I mentioned in that video that Frankie on like Mercari was selling for like 300, 400, 500, like it was so much money. And I'm sorry, I was not that dedicated for that video. But over time, so many of you guys have watched that video and I thought it would be fun to give you my thoughts not only on these two that weren't in there, but also obviously the new scents and talk about them. I don't even think we have scent notes. Again, we don't know when they're gonna actually launch, but I was really excited to get my hands on them in the mini bottle so I knew which one I would maybe want to buy full size. Before we get into it though, I do have to say I'm so excited because I'm starting my fragrance channel. <laughs> the time has come, you guys. I've been doing scent Sundays here on the channel for over a year now and I was really just testing and sharing my love of perfume on here and I'm still going to be uploading a few perfume videos here and there, maybe still on Sundays. I'm not really sure until that channel gets on its feet, but I will leave it down below. It's gonna be all about perfume, all about candles, all about scent in general. I am so excited for it. I've loved doing my Scent Sunday videos, but there's just so many other fragrance videos I wanna create and wanna make, but they just don't have room here on this channel, which is totally understandable, and I totally get that not everyone cares about fragrance as much, and I really wanna just create and foster a community where we really can talk a little bit more in depth about scent and really get into it. So if you guys want more scent videos and more scent and fragrance and perfume, perfume content for me, definitely go subscribe there. I know so many of you guys have been getting into fragrance and perfume as well. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the channel. And again, please go subscribe over there. Thank you so much. I don't have a strict schedule of what I'm gonna be posting over there, but I'm hoping to do about two-ish videos a week. That's the goal. So with that all being said, let's get into this Ariana Grande set. This retails for too much, I will say that. This is $150 and it's supposed to look like a record player, so it's cute. It has kind of that retro theme. It reminds me of, I think, the 34, 35 music video. I think that's the one that has like this kind of projection going on. And you can see that it's kind of like an advent calendar. I did not realize when I bought this that that's what it was going to be. So I do think it's kind of fun. But to be honest, some of these were like a little bit open when I got it. Some of the perfumes had moved it around. And it generally just feels pretty cheap. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm just saying pretty cheap for $150. I feel like this is more like $75 price point. Makes a lot more sense to me, especially because you're just getting minis. The real thing or like the selling point for me really were the more limited perfumes being re-promoted in here. I haven't seen that happen. I don't think it's like really happened since they've, you know, been sold out and gone. And then also the new perfumes, obviously that sneak peek had me. So that's where the value is for me. Plus I do collect the little mini bottles. Like I love, <laughs> I love a little mini bottle of perfume. Usually I don't pay for them though. Like I try not to pay for them. I usually get them as free perks here, there, wherever. So I'm gonna go through one by one. This first one here, oh, it's so cute. Like look how cute it looks. I believe this first one is Ari, her first perfume. Such a cute little bottle. I think this one's pretty decent. I like most of the Ariana Grande fragrances in general. Again, I would suggest checking out my video where I rank them all if you really wanna know. I don't feel like my opinions have really changed. In number two, we have Sweet Like Candy. I I wish so badly there was a little pom-pom on them. Wouldn't that be so cute? Ugh. But I love these little mini bottles. So adorable. In slot number three, you get a mini of Cloud. I love this mini. I think it is 
so cute. I don't have any of the Ariana Grande minis and I've looked at the little mini sets that I've seen on Ulta and I've almost bought them and I'm so glad I didn't. I would honestly hate to have doubles. Like I don't need doubles of them. Plus I have them in the actual sprayer form, but Cloud is one of my favorite perfumes. You guys already know that. For number four, I'm not sure if it was Sweet Like Candy 2.0 or Frankie in there. So I'm just gonna talk about Sweet Like Candy. So these are just like the little dauber versions and this to me smells very shampoo-y. It's very fruity. It has red berries in the top and I feel like I'm definitely getting a lot of that. It smells like something I've smelled before and I don't know why. It's kind of reminding me of one of the Britney Spears flankers, like not the original fantasy, but like something along the way or maybe something from Bath and Body Works. Like it's almost giving me like country apple, but not too much apple. Maybe it's the pear in here that's giving it a little bit of freshness. It's nice and sweet though, kind of shampoo-y, showery, watery like that. You know, like you would walk into a bathroom after someone showered and it would smell like this and you'd be like, oh, it smells good. That's what this smells like to me. There's some whipped cream and marshmallow in the base of this perfume and I don't pick up on that a ton. Like it's not super creamy and like fluffy as I would like or not as creamy and fluffy as I'd like. I feel like the fruit is a lot more prominent, but I'm so glad to have this in my collection, at least to be able to smell it. I've never smelled it before. So exciting for me, honestly, not gonna lie. In the number five slot is REM from Ariana Grande. This is one of my favorites as well. This is like a musky lavender scent. It has a little bit of salt in there as well. It also has some fig. I feel like it's hazy, again, musky and really comforting. I really like this and it's not overly sweet, especially compared to the rest of her line. So if you're looking for something that's not super sweet and you like a musky scent, I think you might wanna try this. The lavender is pretty prominent though. So you're gonna want to like lavender. Moving on to number six is a Moonlight. I really love Moonlight as well. This one has some plum in it. And for her more fruity scents, I feel like there's something a little bit deeper going on in this one. Mm, yeah, this one's a good one. This is also one of my favorites. Like it's kind of creeped up there for me, especially out of the perfumes that are in these kind of like geometric spheres, which I miss. These were so good. I feel like the newer bottles will get into it. I don't know. I don't know about them. <laughs> Girl's on her own trip, you know what I mean? Like she has a vision. I just, I'm trying to get it. I'm really trying. Number seven, we're gonna say is Frankie. Again, Sweet Like Candy, this limited edition version might be switched in the actual calendar, but I'm so excited to have Frankie. This one is supposed to be, I think, unisex. I mean, obviously anyone can wear any fragrance, but I do think this one was marketed a little bit more unisex. I think Frankie is her brother. Ooh, and I really like this one. This one I really wish she would repromote because there's there's something a little bit more masculine about this. It has some prominent woods to me. It's almost a little fresh spicy, but still has a nice sweetness to it. You know some of those men's colognes that are really sweet still? That's what this kind of vibes with. There is some fruit at the top. I get a little bit of the apricot and pear, but not much. It's just a little bit of like a sweet fruity thing going on. There's pink pepper also where you're getting that spice. And then there's some wood. So there's cedar, there's sandalwood, there's musk and sugar. And I think this one's just a really nice one. I've been wearing this one a little bit and I feel like on the dry down it gets a little bit more fresh spicy as it goes and I feel like it turns even more masculine as it dries down at least on me not so masculine I wouldn't wear it I still think it's like unisex I just want to point that out compared to her other fragrances which usually go pretty sweet pretty overall I would say feminine although I don't think that about cloud necessarily but I really like Frankie and I feel like it's pretty different while still being cohesive to her line so I think that one would be so awesome if she would repeat promoted, but I guess if you're rich and you want to go on Mercari and buy one off someone, I'm sure they'll be willing to sell it to you at a price. Moving on to number eight is Cloud 2.0. I love Cloud 2.0. I feel like when they first came out, I couldn't really tell the difference, but I can now. And I think depending on your skin chemistry and also how you interpret Cloud, because that is the case with perfumes, like what I smell isn't necessarily what other people smell. And so for me, Cloud is sweet and airy, a little bit like plasticky and medical as well. And I love that, but I know a lot of other people who get just like only woods. Like they don't get the sweetness, they don't get the airiness, they get just tons of woods. So I guess the whole story is just saying that I think for some people like the 2.0 might be a lot different for you. This one I find just a little bit richer, a little bit denser. It has Ambroxan in it, I really love Ambroxan and I've really been gravitating to this one more in these colder months. I just love it, it's such an easy reach for me. Next we have number nine, which is God is a Woman. I really love God is a Woman. It's a great pear scent. It's pretty sweet, it does have some musky to it and it is one that like when I wear it I do enjoy it it can get a little syrupy on me and out of the whole line I like it I really do like it but I feel like I have a lot of other perfumes that have this DNA and I do think I like those a little bit better um, there's one from Lise that I really 
like, it is more expensive. So this is definitely the cheaper option, but I really love, if you love this scent, but you want something maybe a little bit more, I guess I would say refined. I really love Lee's Studied, I believe is what it is. I feel like they have a similar profile, but that one still has a sweetness, but it doesn't go syrupy. And this one can go that way on me, but it's still really good when I want something more playful and sweet. Number 10, thank you next. This is not my favorite. This is my least favorite, I would, I think. I'm pretty sure. I know so many people love this. I wanna love it. It has coconut. It's a little more tropical, I feel like. Plus it has like still those like creamy notes. I believe there's like maybe macaron, but it just is too tangy for me. This one's not my favorite, but I love the bottle. So cute. I actually think these little bottles are maybe cuter than. <laughs> the big ones. Okay, now we are finally getting into the sneak peeks. If you've been here this long, thank you for staying. I appreciate it. Let's talk about number 11. So this is the sneak peek to the new Mod Vanilla perfume. I am so excited. Obviously, that's why I bought this whole thing was for this and the other mini, mostly. <laughs> mostly. And Frankie, I really wanted that one. Let's talk a little bit about this bottle. It's looking like a dino egg. It's very odd. Um, I'm not sure I like it. I do feel like it's in line with kind of the way things it's like modular and I don't know man I don't know about this it's looking almost like KKW perfumes as well or something maybe Kylie would come out with I don't know I'm not the biggest fan but of mod vanilla the actual scent you guys ooh I have to say I am so excited I will be purchasing mod vanilla as soon as I can ooh, ooh, ooh. there's something about this I don't think we have notes yet I don't think we have any of that when I first smelled this it reminded me of cloud a little bit so I feel like if you like cloud you might like this but this is just like vanilla. So you're not getting the lavender at all from Cloud. Mm, you're just getting this like cozy yet still sugary vanilla and I love it. There's something about it, this tiny bit of like airiness and brightness still to it. I'm assuming there's still some woody notes but they're not too strong at all. It's just like a delicious vanilla, you guys. Smelling it here, it kind of reminds me like if you like Skylar's Boardwalk Delight, I think you're also gonna like this because it has that kind of sugary vanilla but it does doesn't go too powdery and it doesn't go too sweet either. Like it's something kind of cotton candy with a little bit of creaminess still coming through. I'm assuming there's still gonna be some like vanilla orchid in here, something like that. There might even be some coconut in here. I really love it. Like I said, it's kind of like Boardwalk Delight, but I don't feel like it has that really clean smell. That one has like a laundry detergent smell to it and I don't get that in here, but there is almost a milkiness as well. So I am so excited. I love it. It's by no means cloud I don't want to like get that confused but I do think if you like cloud you're gonna probably like this especially if you like vanillas already I think it's a really great addition to our line I think it smells different but I can totally see this being an Ariana Grande perfume for sure I'm so excited for that one and last for number 12 this one is mod blush it has the exact same packaging again I think these are gonna launch at the same time for the information at least that I have okay so for mod blush this is definitely I would say a little bit like floral fruity but the fruit in here seems like tangier. So I don't know if it's like black currant. I don't know if it's raspberry. I don't know if it's pear. She puts pear in a lot of stuff, so it could be that. But some kind of like tangy fruit like that. I do feel like there's some florals in here. It's very like feminine. But then there's something kind of creamy in the base. I'm assuming there might be some whipped cream or marshmallow. She tends to do that a lot. There's something about it that's like bright and fresh. I can't pick up on the exact floral in here. I think it's nice. I think a lot of people are gonna like this one and I don't know which one to compare it to. And again, I do quite like it. I just don't think that it's gonna be one I buy a bottle of right off. Maybe later on down the line when it gets discounted or something like that, I'd pick it up. It's not like a love at first sniff like Mod Vanilla is, but you guys already know, like I'm a vanilla girl. Like <laughs> I already was like prepped and primed to like the vanilla. I do like though that as this dries down, it does get like sweeter, less tangy, like the tang of whatever that is kind of dies down, gets a little softer and it's a little bit more creamy in that base. So um, I like both of them. I'm excited for both of them. I'm so happy I got to try them like a little bit early before they actually launch. And again, this one, I, I will be buying the full bottle. Even these, I think they're gonna be kind of heavy because these feel like ceramic almost. So I'm excited to see how weighty the actual bottles are. Although I can't get over like the they almost look like rocks. Like if you saw everything everywhere all at once when they turn into rocks, like, I don't know, it just gives me those. <laughs> like it's just so 
funny, but um, I definitely will be picking this up. So excited for it. And so excited to have all these little minis in my collection, as well as getting my hands on the second Sweet Light Candy and Frankie. Like that was so worth it to me personally. I think this works best though, if we're talking about this set in general, like for a super big Ariana Grande fan, like I think that they could like it, but I do wish that even like this packaging was like a little nicer. It's just, it's a little bit cheap, I think, for the steep price on it. If you're willing to wait for the new perfumes to launch and you don't care really about this, I would probably wait on it. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd love to know, did you pick this up? Have you smelled the sneak peeks in here? If you have, let us know your thoughts down below because I'm sure it will be helpful for anyone who maybe wants to know what they smell like early. Also, again, shout out to my fragrance channel. I'm so excited for that journey for me and for us. And I can't wait to talk about more houses and more concepts. Like I just. Have have so many ideas and shorts and just everything that I want to make and I just knew it's just too much for this channel like this is beauty we're usually here for beauty and I did buy the new Billie Eilish perfume as well as the new Kaoli and I'm probably gonna put one of those at least on that channel I might put one on here I'm not sure like I said you'll still see some perfume content here until that channel kind of you know takes off a little bit more but I'm gonna be posting a lot more fragrance over there than I am here and like kind of slowly <laughs> weaning us off over here so I am so excited to have you join me there and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.